great, for our last task, number three, we have a potter takes a total of seven and a half hours to mold 12 clay pitchers. And you'll see that picture um, over on the side here. Okay. Seven and a half hours to mold 12 clay pitchers. So for part A, we're gonna write the rate of the number of pitchers to the number of hours. Is it a unit rate? Explain. So let's write this ratio down. So we have 12 clay pitchers for seven and a half hours. <clears throat> All right, is this a unit rate? Is this a unit rate? Remember what a unit rate is? Unit rate is when one of our quantities is a value of one, which neither of these have a value of one. <clears throat> so it's no, neither, neither has a value of one. So now what we're going to do now is we need to find the unit rate. And in order to find the unit rate, we're going to write our ratio. And then we're going to use equivalent fractions or equivalent ratios to find what the unit rate is. So what do we have to divide 7.5 by to get 1? 7.5. And what you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top too. So now we're left with 12 divided by 7.5, which is 1.6. So this means that the unit rate is the potter makes 1.6 pitchers per hour. Okay, so knowing the unit rate, the unit rate helps us be able to do all sorts of problems. We can figure out pretty much anything we want using this unit rate. So how many pitchers? And part C says, how many pitchers can the potter mold in 70 hours? So what we're going to do is we know the unit rate, which is 1.6 pitchers per one hour. And all we do is we're going to use an equivalent fraction to figure out 70 hours. So we have this one. This one has to get to 70. So what do we have to multiply one by to get 70? 70. 1 times 70 equals 70. Okay. And what we do to the bottom, we got to do to the, the top. 70. So now we're left with 1.6 times 70, which is 112. So now we know in 70 hours, the potter can mold 112 pitchers. It's a lot of pitchers. The part D. Part D asks, how can you find how many hours it would take the potter to mold 60 pitchers? So first we need to find, we need to find, we have 60 pitchers, and we need to divide 60 pitchers. Okay, wait, how many hours do you want to mold? Well, we got to figure out how, yeah, okay, okay, good. Here. okay, we're going to do 60. Five oh one six. Okay. That means this is sixty. This is total pictures divided by um, pictures per hour. And then that gives us sixty divided by one point six is. 37.5. Now, we're doing this because we need to be able to find a number that we can multiply. So like this, so we have 1.6. Okay. What this step is showing right here might be kind of confusing. But what this step is showing right here is we need to find this value. Because we have 1.6 pitchers per hour, and we need to multiply the top and the bottom to get something at 60 pitchers per hour. So in order to get that, 
it looks like this. 1.6 times an unknown number equals um, 60. And so all we did is we took 60 and divided by 1.6 to get the unknown number, which this actually looks exactly like that. 60, 60 divided by 1.6 equals 37.5. Okay, that's where I got that, just so that you know. Okay, so now we're going to do, we're going to do 37.5, 37.5. So we already know 1.6 times 37.5 is 60. So now what we do is we take that 37.5 and we multiply it by the bottom, which is 1. And so we're left with 37.5 hours. So it takes 37 and a half hours to make 60 pictures. All right, so there you go. That is the last task for 5.4. Yay, you can have a party now. Party, party, good job.